Hey farm hands, farm boy Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So in this episode of the lab, we're going to talk about uh, the Tunzi Osmolator 3155. This is uh, Tunzi's ATO. Um, this one here has been on the market for years. It's a very reliable uh, ATO, guys. So this episode, we're going to talk about uh, why it's important to have an ATO uh, auto top-up system on your tank. Um, I have three of the identical ones that are going to be going on uh, these 30-gallon sumps as well. So what I want to do is I want to bring you guys a close personal. We're going to see everything that comes in. Uh, this package. And then I'm going to do a hook up a little display for you guys to show you, you know, why it's important to have an ATO and how it works. So come on in, guys. Let's see uh, what's inside the box. All right, gang. So here's the uh, the Osmolator from Tunzi, the 3155 water level controller. So let's open the box and see what we got inside. So let's get the unboxing here. So what do we got? So as soon as you open up your box, you get the usual greeting of all the instructions and the Tunzi warranty cards. So let's look at this first. So we have uh, the limited warranty, the 24 months. If you guys have or have an issue with your unit, you just either you log on to their website or uh, you can call them personally and uh, they'll definitely hook you right up if you have any issues. And as well, they got all the, it's like almost seven different languages that you guys uh, can read in. So let's put that to the side. So let's keep digging in the box here and see what we got. So first off, we have the controller. So this is the Tunzi controller. Let's uh, take it right out of the wrapping. See what we got. All right, so let's just put this to the side for now. So here's the controller, guys. As you guys can see, it's a nice unit. Um, I like to see that it came with uh, the two-way tape with, uh, with the Velcro. So that makes it nice for uh, mounting it in your uh, cabinetry. We'll put that to the side. So we'll get, this is the controller, guys. So it has uh, two low, sensor, uh, the pump on, level the level, and uh, too high. So if you guys look here, it's got, this is uh, the backup sensor, so when the water gets too low or too high, it tells the pump uh, not to turn on or not to turn off. So, and then the other thing here, this is uh, the optical uh, controller sensor. This sensor here tells you if the water is getting uh, too low. This is your main sensor, guys, as you guys can see. And then if you look closer, this is where these little uh, wire uh, clamps is where you end up putting, uh, push the wire of the pump inside. I'll show you guys that in uh, some uh, time to come here. So that is the, the main controller, water controller for uh, the pump. So let's keep digging, we'll put this one to the side. What else is in the box? So well, here is your pump. Um, this little pump here is a little 12 volt pump that's uh, gonna run off the controller. So it, what makes this nice is, as you guys can see, it's a little, just a nice little unit. This is where you end up, you're gonna hook uh, your piping that's gonna go back into your main, uh, say your sump area. And this is what I was talking about here. This is the low voltage wire. So you guys can see that it's gonna attach into the wire clamps here. You just end up, you just push them in like so, just like that, as you guys can see. But I wanna show you before I put it in here, what makes it nice, so there's no bulky uh, connectors on the end. That means if you want to put this little pump in uh, some kind of reservoir, like a pail or something, you could drill a small hole, feed that through, and you can put the cover on it, and you're good to go. So there's no uh, cutting other holes. You can just drill a nice hole, and then you can hook it up uh, to your low voltage wiring back to your controller. So that's what makes it nice as well. So let's keep digging here. What else do we got? Comes in the box. Well, it comes uh, with the hosing that's going to feed out of uh, your reservoir for your RO water, out of your pump. And this is where it hooks uh, into here. Just like this, you just push this right into the into the pump, like that, and you're good to go. So we'll just take that apart. One the other thing here too, it comes with a nice little clamp. Well, you're probably asking, what is this clamp for? Well, it comes with this bracket. So this bracket, you can hook. If you guys can see, it's all made of plastic, so you don't have to worry about anything corroding. And what you're going to do here is uh, you just take this off, and you just you can just mount that on the side of your aquarium or in your sump. And it comes with a little screw. So you just take that screw out with this little uh, connector clamp and you put that together. So it just sits perfectly. You don't have to worry about uh, your hose flying out of your sump onto the floor or anything. So, but I'm gonna show you guys how to hook all this up here in a few more minutes. So let's keep digging. So let's see what's in this little white box. Check it out here. So this is uh, the power supply, low voltage power supply. That's gonna end up just plugging uh, into the bottom of your controller like this. Just like that, guys. And the other thing that makes it great too, so all your, see all these sensors, put this to the side. So all these sensors right here, your optical and your float, 
What makes it nice, they're gonna, they hook right onto a nice magnet. Magnet connector that goes into your sump. Pull this apart. Just like so. So you guys can see. So we can just uh, mount this stuff together here. Let's go here. Just like that. So this is what you're gonna mount in your sump. So say this is your sump uh, acrylic or glass, you're gonna end up, you're gonna take uh, an optical right here, and you're gonna end up mounting that one. And then it's the same with uh, this one here, it just mounts in here, like so. And it comes with a nice little nut on the bottom. Just put that through, like that. Very easy. And then same uh, with your optical as well. It's just gonna mount down. So you just uh, take it to the side here, put it through, pop that up and just twist it to the to the left and you're good to go. So you guys can see how nice and uh, compact that is. So this is your main one that tells you your water level. So there's not really any moving parts and this one here is your backup if there's a problem if uh, too much water's going in or it's too low. What makes it really great. So you have that. So that's a great little setup there, guys. So as you guys can see, um, a couple other features as well. Um, this has a little built-in uh, siren. It tells you if, the, if you're starting to run out of RO water, you'll be able to hear it. It's gonna let you know that you need to go fill up your RO uh, reservoir uh, ASAP. So this is the controller, guys. It's a <laughs> nice little controller. Can't wait to try it out on these rigs. So I'm gonna set one of these up for you and we can check it out personally and see this work in action. All right, gang, so I set up this little uh, display for you. We're gonna pretend this is our main, say, 220 gallon aquarium, and this is our reservoir full of our new RO water that's gonna top up our tank when we have evaporation. So I just wanna do a little display for you. So this is our 12 volt pump that we just seen. This is our water uh, controller. We have our little clamps here to uh, hook in for the 12 volt uh, so, uh, pump. And then if you guys look back here, we have our optical for our water level. And then we have our float switch, our backup, just in case something happens. When it comes all the way to the top, it's, it'll fire an alarm saying, oh, it's too high, it's too high. And then if it goes down, it's saying it's too low, it's too low. So it's gonna let you know if you're having a little bit of a flood or you're running out of water in uh, your RO uh, holding tank. And then this is here, this is the little clamp that goes on the edge of your tank, if you want, or your sump. It just twists it on, and then you just put the little screw in to hold it, and you're good to go. So it's solid, you don't have to worry about it falling out of your tank. And it comes with a lot of, you know, the, there's a lot, the cables are very long, so you're, you're good to go. So, what I did here, I just add a little bit of food coloring, uh, so we can just see the water going into the new tank. Um, we're gonna test uh, these uh, sensors together, as you guys can see, and you're gonna be able to watch all the LEDs going you know, too high, the water level and uh, the pump and everything, and the alarm will go off so you can hear it. So what we need to do is we need to take um, our little uh, wire holders here and take our pump, and we're just gonna stick them in here, get them latched up, just like this. Just putting this one in here as well. Just like that. And then we're gonna take our pump and we're gonna put it into the, the new water RO reservoir, just like that. All right, so it's gonna be able to start pumping here. All right, so all you have to do now is just we're gonna power this unit up and we're gonna see how everything's gonna function. We're probably gonna get some alarms right out of the gate. You guys can see it, the LEDs uh, just lit up. So right now, if you look, it's saying it's too high, but we don't have any water going yet. So right now, we're filling up our uh, our tank, as you guys can see. So if we fool around with the floats, you'll be able to hear the alarm. So I'll bring you guys up close here. As you guys can see the water level. So right now, it's saying that it's too high. So if we hit this, it shuts it off. So now it's warning you. So say you're in your house, you just ran out of water, or now it's telling you it's too high, until it starts filling back up again, as you guys can see. So we're gonna get this all filled up and then I'm gonna show you after it's all filled how the optical is gonna work. All right, gang, so we're almost there right now. So if you guys can see, the optical will soon be right under the water and this pump will shut right off because it'll be under the water line. So there you go. So now you guys can see this water, touch this optical eye right here. 
So now that's is, this is the what I want. This is our sump. So we'll pretend this is the sump, and this is my water line. So this is where I wanted it to stop. So it stopped as soon as it hit uh, my optical sensor. So say we had a problem. So I'm going to manually fill this up, and then the alarm will go off. Because what happens is, you see here, this is the flow, the alarm. So if it goes up, oh, there's too much water. There's an issue. We have a problem. So now everything's perfect. The water's back to our optical eye. So what we need to do now is I'm manually going to fill up the tank. So there's going to be an issue. So let's let's fill it up. Alarm should come on as soon as the emergency float goes up. There you go. As soon as there was too much water, we got an issue. We run downstairs to our tank. What seems to be the problem? Just like that, it lets you know that we have an issue. So if you come in close here, I'll bring you guys in close. You guys can see it says water level too high. Safe water level too high. So we're gonna guys in a little closer. I'm gonna take some water out. So the pump's gonna have to pump water back into the main display. There you go, see? We had evaporation in our tank. Now the, the controller is filling us right back up. So it works perfectly, guys. That is a great uh, ATO. Very reliable. Pretty excited to get this one's on uh, on my rig here. Yeah, I like how it has this nice little uh, controller. A lot of other ATOs, they don't come with this little uh, holder to hold this. Because that's one of the things, if this ever, uh, you know, your hose ever got knocked out, it fell on the floor, you have a big mess. With this, it's good to go. She's uh, with that nice little screw to hold everything in place. They pretty much thought of everything. You just, you know, by just having all the backup, just like that, it's just seamless. And I like knowing the alarm, so I know there's an issue with my tank right away. So it's filling up again. Let's just speed up this process. So as soon as the water hits the optical eye, it'll shut off. So let's just give it another second. There you go. It just hit the optical eye, and it's perfect. So a few pointers why it's important to run one of these systems. Well, if your water is evaporating from your sump or your main display, what does that mean? Well, that means the salinity is changing. So you know how you're always trying to keep your tank salinity by like, you know, 1.025. So the problem is it could drop, right? It could go down to 23 or it could go higher. So as soon as the water evaporates, your salinity is going to go through the roof. And then what that means is going to stress out your corals and your fish. You know, you're gonna get, you know, they're gonna get sick. Corals are gonna start getting stressed out and die. And the same with your fish as well. So it's very important to keep uh, your salinity the same. And with uh, this ATO, it's definitely gonna make a big difference, guys. Um, if I know if like if I was traveling or on trips and stuff, I'd want to have this system set up because when you're not around to manually, you know, fill your tank full of new RO water to keep your salinity the same. This little uh, device is gonna do a lot of wonders for you and keep everything up, and you won't be worrying about it when you're on your trips. We're worrying about a family member that has to add new water to your tanks. So guys, this is uh, the ATO. I hope you guys really enjoyed it from Tunzi. So this was the episode this week. Thanks a lot everyone for uh, coming out and checking out this video. The same time, same place next week. You never know what video is coming up, all right? Thanks a lot guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank <laughs> you.